Deke cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Nice to see you, my young friend. to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort.
you to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask! I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> a fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular, and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Travel broadens the mind. Revelio.
it's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. That's the last time I have a potion idea that I don't write down. when Professor Sharp is so intimidating. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell card. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day? Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with a goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognised me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realise I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. 
In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood? It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. What do we have here? A demigod. Outside the castle. You too are meat. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Cock. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona said our interests may be aligned. Perhaps she was wrong. Hmm. Well, if Sorona believes we have common goals, then it is possible that we can trust each other. Very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb.
I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The Helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the Goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else, a symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to Goblin Kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the Dark Hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Rebellion.
curious. Lumos. Merlin's beard. Rebellion. Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Rebellion. 
Expelliarmus! Rebellion. Lumos. Mm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. This has a moth imprinted on it, same as the door. Revelio, Lumos. 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 Reparo. Lumos. Rebellion. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. It sealed the trap on the other side.
Down I go. No other way. Depulsa! Revelio! Rebellion. Lumos. Need to get that platform closer. But how? Leviosa. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. Regardium Leviosa. Repair. Repair 
Perhaps Akio would help. Revelio. Accion, Guardian Leviosa.
Lumos. looks even more complex. Rebellion! Rebellion. Rebellion. Protego. Lumos. 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 The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus.
Revelio. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Revelio Akiem Guardian Leviosa Arrest the momentum Akiem Resto Momentum. Accio. Ingardium Leviosa. Arresto Momentum. Accio. Ingardium Leviosa. Rebellion.
they come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. There they are. The Ashwinders. Aha! Explosive. Back for more! Predator, you! You're gonna have to face you! Cost us out! Incendia! You're easier to sit on than to run! That's good! You will pay for your deed! That's it. This is for Rookwood. I'll try not to make this too easy for me. You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? Let's see what you make of my infield. Right, Let me Disarm my wand, feel my wrath. Let me open, put it in. Hi, my doctor! Ah, no one to share in my victory. This 
mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beast's class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. Nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Thank <laughs> you. 
We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Oh. <laughs> 
You don't. Everything's all right now. I rescued a jobbernol. Deke hopes your jobbernol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Cooperate, won't you? There, there. Not going to hurt you. Rebellion. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. I'll look after you. It 
was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke thinks you are doing good work here.
Professor Howen will never believe this. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. <laughs>